Hey friends, so we're going to go ahead and claim it. The Converti wigs are definitely going to be my new obsession this summer, okay? 2022 all Converti wigs, okay? I am obsessed with these wigs. The versatility, the looks, the endless possibilities, okay? So let's get into it. So this one is a different brand. It's not by Autry. It's by Sensational. So I'm going to give y'all the tea on my first impression and whether or not it holds up to the longevity of synthetic wigs. Let's get into it. So, of course, here I am with my hair rocking this old twist out. Okay, so it's time to do something with it. But before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button. Um, it's located right below the, the video. Okay, go ahead. Join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, Bessie. Hey, Mama. Hey, friend. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So, here we go. It's a two-piece wig set. So, we have a ponytail and then the half wig. Here's the ponytail here. That piece right there is what wraps at the base of the ponytail to cover it up. And then here is the half wig piece. I got the color T237, 30, or 350, I believe that is. So it has that copper orange color going on. So initially out the pack, I'm not going to lie, I was not impressed, okay? It was given very much see-through on that wig cap. I was highly upset, okay? Austria had the breathable mesh going on. Sensational was just like, yeah, it's breathable, honey, because it's see-through, okay? So I was a little disappointed there but I was like you know what we are gonna give it a try anyway so I'm parting my hair across the crown of my head from ear to ear to create our half up half down style adding some eco styler gel to my edges so we can lay them edges we do not want no fuzz balls in the front of our head and we're gonna brush that nice and smooth and then get our trusty uh, ponytail holder and secure the bun honey all right so at this point my shoulders are burning you know I've been going to the gym but it's something about doing your own head that just has your shoulders and your back in on fire on fire so I'm splitting the ponytail in half so I can twist it up and get it as small as possible uh, my hair is growing so creating a small bun can be a little tedious okay especially dealing with this thick hair so this is my way of getting the small as possible the bun as small as possible and then I'm gonna secure it with a, a rubber band now moving on to the back of the head because we can't just let afro puff back there just hang out I'm just sectioning her off and I put her into five jumbo twists I just added some water and uh, smooth her out she still had product in her from the twist out so she won't dry or nothing like that i just added some water just to kind of help with detangling and i'm just twisting it right on up i did have to secure it with some rubber bands because i didn't want my twists to come undone while they were hanging out back there and then we're going to pull all those twists into uh, one ponytail so y'all sinus pollen season spring whatever have you it's kicking my ass okay y'all see my face is still swollen over here i'm still nasally i can't stand this shit okay i am miserable but you know what that ain't gonna stop me from creating content your girl still gonna look good snotty nose and all all right now i'm gonna go in with my shine effects edge gel love this gel speak highly of it every time i do a video here on my channel and i'm just gonna lay down my edges real quick do a couple of swoops swoops and then i'm gonna secure that with a silk edge wrap let that hang out there for probably about 10 15 minutes and then we're gonna come back take it off and it's now time to apply our half wig so the half wig has two combs right here in the front that's what i'm securing right there boom boom and then there's also one in the back now when i first initially opened up this bad boy i didn't think there was a drawstring to the wig cap so i was i was just like how am i supposed to secure this well once i put it on my head i realized bitch there's the drawstring it's right there i was like my dumb ass so i went ahead put it back on there and all you have to do is just pull it there's a little clamp on there to secure it so the string don't be you know flying everywhere and then you just tuck the stream back up into the wig cap that's just how I do it now let's get into the ponytail now because this thing I was fighting with it it took me about three tries to finally get it right so it only has one one little baby comb sitting in the center I was I, I didn't like that because the ultra the other ones that I've tried they had at least three combs sitting in there to kind of help you secure that ponytail so I, I had to fight with this for a little bit the next thing I didn't like the they, they did the ombre effect on this strip that you're supposed to wrap around the base, which I didn't like. I would have preferred it to been, be all black because, of course, you know, my hair is black. That root right there is black. And then with that little just skinny red piece, it was annoying. So I had to kind of like cover that up a little bit. But she turned out to be a look. <laughs> she fine. 
she funny as hell okay so that was day one now let's move on to day two of me rocking this half wig piece so i dished the ponytail but she was getting frizzy which i knew that was going to be a possibility with this kind of texture on synthetic wigs whoo child it can get frizzy and matted and just turn into a hot ass mess so i was trying to save my girl by adding in some foam i took some btl foam it's some braid twist and lock foam i like it because it dries like kind of hard you know if, if you get what, what i'm saying um and it smells good and y'all know i love a product that smells good so i was very liberal with that foam like i would get to the point that the hair was almost wet from just the foam alone and i worked that throughout the entire thing kind of just let it air dry it did dry hard but it helped with the matting and the tangling up so i figured meh you know tomato tomato so here she is here she still looks pretty good but i can already tell you now the longevity just ain't there it ain't there oh no boo's crying hold on Alright guys, so this is a completed look for this hair review with the Converted Wig. This is my third one that I have purchased off of Amazon. I'm literally obsessed with these things. Like, I really, I really am. This one's like giving me mermaid, like aerial vibes. I think it's the, the copper or the red that's like just giving me, like, and then the beach waves. They're, they're definitely giving me little mermaid vibes right now i wanted to try something with color because the last two that i tried um for the converted wigs i had the natural brown which worked great they blended great with my um hair texture um this one doesn't blend as great with my hair texture because i'm natural here so it's still kind of curly and you know kind of kinky looking here versus you have this like straightened out piece. So probably if I would have straightened my hair and then uh, put this style on, it probably would have been like perfect as far as texture wise. Um, uh, but it still turned out really cute. I really do, I really do like it. I change my hair so frequently that it can get a little expensive trying to change hairstyles literally every other day. So the fact that this one can be versatile and it's inexpensive is, you know, perfect always perfect and we love versatility here on our channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you locate it right down below we are on the way to 10,000 subscribers here on our channel that is the goal for 2022 and we're hoping to reach that by the end of the year if not sooner and to help us do that all you have to do is like this video comment down below anything you would love to see and share Share the love to all of your friends via social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, wherever you love to get inspiration for hairstyles, please share. So I thank you guys. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.